What's going on, everybody? This is Gary B, and I'm here to show you how to use uh, scripture settings and templates together to make a lower thirds template for your scriptures and how to manipulate it and maneuver it. Uh, and so someone asked, how do you do that? How do you custom customize these? And so I'm on my templates page. I've got a bunch of different templates that I've made that are lower thirds already. And I like to have a scripture box with mine. So you'll see here, just like you can see on the right up here, you'll see that I've got Joshua chapter one down here. And then I've got this uh, reference here. All right. And so the idea is you need to have two boxes set up, one for the text and then one for the reference. And then when you go into your scriptures, it'll automatically update that and so put them in the right place. So if I double click here, you'll see that it's got the reference and this reference actually has the version of the Bible along with the scripture. All right. And that's because I've got down here, show the reference and show the version. All right. If I turn that off and I double click, you'll just see the actual reference of the Bible in terms of the book, the chapter and the verse. All right. I don't mind showing the version. I think that's helpful uh, across the board. So it's, it's something that I generally will have, but you don't have to do anything special on your template to make sure that shows up because it will automatically do that for you. OK. And so now understanding that. How do you create a lower thirds template? Well, like I said, we got to have two boxes. So let's go down to the bottom. We're going to say new template. And it comes up here. We're going to call this. I'm just going to call it new. Lower thirds verse. All right. And it automatically drops in in alphabetical order. And so I got to find the new lower thirds verse. Here it is here. You probably won't have as many um, templates as I've got here, but this is just the idea of how it works. All right. So I got this here and I can click on it. It doesn't do anything special. I got to right click on it and actually edit it. And it's a completely blank slate. And so the first thing you want to do is you want to go over to the right side here. And this is kind of like your control panel of, of different things. And it automatically defaults to items. And the items are important because this is where you would select anything you want to be on that template. And as I said earlier, we need to have two text boxes. So we're going to select a text box here and I'm going to drag it down to the lower thirds, right? So we bring it down to be as tall or as short as we want. And then I might uh, maneuver it down just a little bit more like that. And then I can add another text box. So I go over to the items here and just click text box, text box again. And now I got a duplicate. And what it does, it puts it in exactly the same place as the last one at the same exact size. But I want this one to be smaller like I had it before. And so I'm going to squeeze it down and pull this up and maneuver it to be down below. And that's all the way down to the bottom. I don't want it to touch the bottom. So I'm going to pull this one up just a bit to where they're just overlapping a bit. All right. Now, if you look at the actual size of the fonts, this one is way big. This one's way small. So we're going to customize this to make this fit and work to what we want. So I'm going to go to the text box itself. Right. So I can click on this and I can select text box on the right. And what it does is it narrows it down to now we're just editing what's happening in this particular text box. And the text color for this text box is set to white. The font size is set to 100 and auto size is an option here. So I will select auto size. And then the option here for text fit, it says shrink to fit. And then it's got another option that says grow to fit. So I would turn on auto size for sure, just because text uh, from scriptures is going to be different lengths. And with the scripture selection tool, you can pick one, two, three verses at a time to show up on the slide. We're going to always select one verse at a time, but some verses are going to be smaller than others. So we don't want this to be super small all the time. We want it to fit no matter what. So if it's a regular size verse, it should be just fine. But if it's a super long verse, it'll still shrink to fit. All right. Now we got white text. We've got um, the size there. That's fine. If we don't change any of this, it'll be a completely transparent um, text over. 
And then this box though needs to change because this text is super huge. It's at 100 as well. So let's say we made it be 50 and I hit enter and type in 50 here. Uh oh, let's see. Let me click it again. Let's make it 50. I just clicked inside of it. All right. And we'll keep everything else the same. So now this text is acting up on me. Let's see. If I click that text box and make the font size smaller, oh, it's asking me to type something. So I'll call this scripture reference. And now when I click here and say 50, it automatically shrinks it down. This one is set to 100. We didn't change it, but we'll call this one uh, scripture. And since this is a template, it's not going to carry over any of that content that we put in that we're putting inside it's just a filler for you to see the sizing of it okay and so we've got this uh scripture reference we've got our scripture and we can change those by just simply clicking on the box and we can make it get bigger if you notice it's getting bigger or i can make it get smaller by hitting the plus sign or i can simply just click in here and type and change the size okay now this is important to understand since these are so close we need to have some type of padding around the box so that the scriptures don't go and touch the reference part as well. And the reference touching the scripture part, it's just the same. So to do that, we go to the item and we got options for the item. And the item is actually the frame, right? The outside of this, the line, the box that it's in. And you can go to transform and you'll see ways you can rotate it and flip it. We don't need to do any of that. You can go to style. And you're going to get some options that are going to be important because right now the background color is not there. There's no background, right? If you click it, it's on the X, which means it's transparent. As we said earlier, the background opacity doesn't matter because there's nothing there. Uh, and then the regular opacity, that's the opacity of this entire text. But the padding actually is what we need. We need that to actually increase so that it does not overlap. And you'll notice the little blue box here showing up to where it's shrinking in as I tap and make this bigger the padding number it actually shrinks into where there's a blue box inside of the outer box and basically we're adding a pad or a, a barrier or border I should say that's invisible just an inv invisible border or barrier that's blocking the text from going outside of the blue box that's inside of the, the bigger gray box okay and now if you notice the scripture reference will never touch the actual scripture because the blue box doesn't allow it to all right but i can do the same thing here so i would go here and select this scripture reference piece and i would do the same thing and add a pad and you'll notice the same exact thing it'll shrink down the actual box to where there's a blue pad in there but this particular one we got to go back to the text box let's verify that we actually made it to auto size and right now it's not set to auto size so i need to turn that on so that it will fit and it'll fit inside the pad that we've created and now it'll shrink to fit. OK. And so you might say, you know what? I want this to be a little bit longer. So you might stretch it out to be like that, which is cool. OK. Um, and now we've got this invisible floating scripture with the scripture reference right below it. And that's this is our new lower thirds verse that we've named as a template. So let's go to show. And you'll see here we've got our new lower thirds verse there. Now, the crazy thing is check this out on the slide is showing as if it's inverted where it's putting the actual um, scripture text in the reference area and it's putting the reference in the scripture area but on our output that's not how it's showing up okay and so if we go down to scripture let's see what it does if we just pick a scripture and notice it doesn't do that here either the reason that is, is because the order in which we made those, if we scroll down to the bottom, there's this option that says invert items. If you notice your output is flaking out to where it's doing that, because I actually made these slides um, and exported them. So let's do, I'm going to do the same thing. Let's do control all, I'm going to right click and I'm going to say new show. And so now I've got these as a new show. And if I click that and we go to templates, let's check out our new scripture new lower third scripture verse if I click that it does the same thing and let me see if I can change that in the scripture reference so if we click that it automatically inverts it for us if I click that 
it'll flip it out as well. So the invert items helps to flip that. But here's what we can do. I'm going to show you guys a quick tip. So let's change that back. And if you see it on your output, that's a problem. This is showing up on our show. If we go back to the template and we'll see what's causing this. And we're going to right click on this template and we're going to actually edit it again. The reason it's doing that on your show is because this particular item, if we go to our items, we click this, this item is at the bottom and the big scripture is at the top. So if we select this and move it up to the top, basically all it's doing is it's making the layers of that particular reference or option be visible in a different format to where this one's layered at the bottom and now this one's layered at the top. So if I click that, this one's now at the bottom and the big scripture is now at the top of the layers. It doesn't change what it looks like for us because everything's in, in, in terms of there's no boxes or anything like that. So now if I go back and now you'll notice that template has been updated and you'll see that change. So if I click on this, it automatically is changed and it's referencing properly. All right. And so you might say, okay, let's do the lower thirds. We got the invisible. So let's change the camera. Let's put a camera on. Let's see if I can get one here. I'll make that be my background and it won't show up because I've got it set up to be a little different. So let's just drag this up so you can see it. All right. So this is what it would look like. I've got a um, an action set up or a rule or style, I should say, set up for this output because this is just the lower thirds output. I don't want it to have that because I'll put the video in afterwards. But this is what it would look like, right? And so you'll see that you've got your different verses and you'll have your background. And the verses are just kind of floating and they're centered. Uh, and then we've got the reference and it's centered. If you want to change your template to where they're not centered, you will go back to your templates. You will right click on it. Well, this is our, our new lower thirds and we will just edit it. All right. And so from here we can say, okay, I don't want it to be centered. I want to go to this text box and we go to the text and we'll say align and we want it to be aligned to the left. Typically it's going to be the, the usual. And then this one, the little box, we'll say we want that to be aligned to the right. So I want it to always be pushed over to the right. Now we've adjusted it, but we noticed to me, at least it seems like it's hard for the uh, and notice everything just updated. Everything's on this left side here. And then this is a line to the right. And so now it's looking a little bit cleaner, a little easier to read, but it's still hard to read because we don't have a background on it. Right. So sometimes if you know that your your video is going to be darker, having a white text there is great. It's got a little bit of a shadow already built in. It's perfect. But for me, it's a little too bright on my uh, video feed. This is what it'll actually look like. And it just doesn't look easy to read. So I would always go into my templates. And I will right click on this one and we'll say edit again. And I'm going to add a background. All right. So we got our text color, but we want to go to the item and we're going to say background color. And we can make the background be whatever color you want. I like orange. So we'll make this orange and we'll go to this one. We'll do the background color. We're going to make it be, uh, let's do sky blue is a little extra, a little bright. That's okay. We'll work with that. And then I'm going to change the text, though, because it doesn't look good with white text. We'll make the text be black. And then the shadow doesn't look good on that sky blue. So I'm going to turn the shadow off. I'm going to go down to shadows um, and actually go to the actual item. Let's see. And see how shadow is up plus two on the offset of the X and the offset of the Y. Now it's the clean view of it, which I like that look down. It looks really nice. It's all lined up pretty good uh if i look closely it looks like it's close enough let's see so we'll go to show and now let's look and see everything's easy to read and i like that let me turn on the output so we can actually see it so let's do outputs and i'm going to actually turn on my primary output output because it's actually off all right and let's go back to our show and we will refresh and select this one and now we can look at it very easy to read a um, little bit of a shadow there I like that I like this no shadow clean and black this is in white and this is us completely editing a lower thirds template from start to finish